Ms. Ms. Rita. I'm on King Street visiting with Ms. Rita today at the clothing store. As you can look around and see, we have a, a variety of nice clothes in here. And you all need to come down here and check it out. What's the address? At 480 King Street. 480 King Street. And the question I want to ask you is, because this is Black History Month, we have a problem. It seems like we are losing a lot of our youth, the drugs, the jailhouse, and some of them are just getting killing each other. Why is this? Can you tell me? Can you tell me something about why do you? What do you see? Feel like the solution and what's causing it? Um, not enough guidance, communication. Um, someone just to help them, to guide them along the way. Um, in some cases, they are not. It's a case where there are not enough adults to teach them, uh, show them, or guide them in the right and wrong way of doing things. Um, even though some may stray, it's just a matter of an adult coming in, pulling them in and showing them the difference between right and wrong and showing them there's a right way and a wrong way of doing things. And um, I think with that in mind, um, that may correct a lot of problems here. Um, mostly I think it's more of our fault as an adults in the situation as to why the, a lot of the kids get in trouble because we just step back and just let them go for themselves. Mm. Do you feel like the church has some kind of responsibility here? Um, because you know, the church is like supposed to be the hospital and the foundation uh, for where we go to get our roots. The church is a good foundation for adults as well as for children. If you don't have the adults in the church, how can you pull the children in there? It takes us as an adult to show them that uh, and guide them into the church. As in a child myself, I grew up in the church. That was that was mandatory that as far as my parents was concerned, we went to Sunday school, we went to church every Sunday. The only reason you didn't go because you were sick. <laughs> but other than that, I feel that we as an adult, it's more of our fault as far as our children because we have not actually stepped out there and helped them. Hmm, last question. Because you're a lady, I'm going to have to hit you with this. I asked the young lady a few seconds ago, and she was a little nervous, but tell me this. A lot of our ladies are settling for second best. The guy, just because he's got a fine car, he's got a wrap, and he knows how to dress. But nine or ten, she's buying the clothes. Why, why are they doing this and, and, and using up her food stamp money to take care of him? Why is this? But that, I feel that in cases of a lot of these young girls that's growing up, they don't have examples. In other words, someone that they can look up to to see that there's a... Get me on it. And, and in other words, it's showing that them that there's another way of life. Hmm. There's another way of life. You just don't... Just because somebody got a good rap, look good, drive a nice car, doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. You need to be the one to have the rap, the nice car, the house, the clothes, and let them defend for themselves. So what you're telling me, she needs to know who she is, who where she's she is, going, where she's going, and what does she, she want? want, and what she wants, and, and don't settle for anything. And don't, don't settle for anything less because with that, she's gonna always sink to the bottom. There's enough. There's always a better choice. If she knows what she's, she's going, what she's going for, and with that, it takes education and guidance. This is Miss Rubin, Rita. This is Miss Rita. Yeah. Yes. At Rubin's Menswear on King Street at 480 King Street. And y'all need to come check her out. I'm going to take the camera and view around so you can. Miss Rita, thank you. You are. Y'all need to come down and check this out because we do need to stop doing business with people of color. As I said before, <clears throat> this is Rubin's Menswear. What's the address here, sir? 480 King. 480 King Street. And I'm going to walk around and show you some of these. And you do need to consider this because we are, we are body. And without you, this store cannot survive. It wouldn't be here. And if this store was not here, then what kind of encouragement and motivation that we would have for the young kids? What, what example that we would set for them if there's no role model? So you all need to consider doing business here on King Street at 480 King Street at Rubens Menswear. I want to ask you a question, sir. 
It seems like a lot of the larger corporations are pooling together, networking together, to have the power to keep the smaller businessman under control. Why is this? And why is it that the small businessman don't pool together and network, such as they're doing, to balance and level the playing field? I can put that in just about one sentence. The, the problem is, we as black people, we don't support each other. Back in the day, we used to support each other very well. We had a lot of stores. And we don't really need anyone else to tell us how to, how to put our money together. What we have to do as a people and as a whole is support each, each, each other and set our friends to each other's shop and everything. But now we don't do that. That's the biggest problem in the black community and for small black businesses, that we do not support each other at all. We have, we have all kind of businesses. We have construction workers, who guys who build houses. We have stores. We have guys who sell, try to sell cars. We have black guys that got a uh, car dealership, but we'd rather go somewhere else to buy the car. We'd rather buy, go somewhere else for someone else to build our house. And sometimes we like to go somewhere else where we sell clothes. And we have and we have a lot of business. There used to be a lot of business, but we don't have that anymore. We also have black grocery stores or little corner stores that we don't help support. That's the biggest problem. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. In other words, what you're telling me, uh, not only the stores, the, the contractors as far as uh, electrician, carpenters, but the truckers. the truckers. They claim they want a better lifestyle. They want to uh, have what all of the other successful people got, but they want pool together with the power to get what they claim they say they want. They just settle for second best. Thank you for putting it so well. Thank you. At the conclusion of any, any conclusion words, closing remarks? Yes, please let's start supporting our own and help support the black, the small businesses to keep them in business. Thank you.